Hey, so we don't usually do unboxing videos here on the David Hancock channel, but that's going to, today is going to be an exception because something really, really exciting from TNT Express arrived. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Wrong way. Or wrong one, more accurately. Oops, let's see what's going on. So what was happening when I tried to unfold it was the arm here was in was impacting the bellows and could not swing upward. So let's see if extending this helps. There, that does it. This is a Ghibellini Proxima four by five, which is Ghibellini's 3D printed uh, four by five field camera. <clears throat> it definitely looks even better than I expected. I got it in a white body with a red bellows. The, the black uh, lens board or uh, film holder is A-OK -okay with me. Let's see if there's any lens boards in here. I hope there's one. It does not appear to be. Nope. Okay. So, weighs, uh, I think it said it weighs 1.4 kilograms, which is uh, about, what, 2.6 pounds, give or take, uh, something like that. And uh, believe that it has all the exact same tilt, swing, shift, and movement functionality as the Black Swan and the ACN by Ghibellini. So, uh, it, it is Ghibellini's entry-level camera, but it still has bubble levels you can see here to help with alignment, a very nice leather handle embossed with the company name. If you've never talked to Alessandro, who is the guy who runs Ghibellini, very nice guy, very quick to respond to questions. So this is, uh, ooh, I cannot wait to start shooting this in just a week or so. So that's it, this is my new camera, my first ever 4x5 that was built just for me. In fact, my first ever film camera that I ordered brand new that no one else before me had owned or used. Let's get this back to zero. There we go. I think that this actually needs to go a little bit higher. Is that correct? So I'm not sure. So this, so looking at the movements, you can see here, the, uh, the, the rear movement is at a hinge here. There's also some, some shift side to side on the rear. Right, here, controlled with these, let's get this tightened back up. Controlled with this, so there is an ability to do rear plane focusing as well as shifting it left and right. Not a whole bunch of movement on the rear, but that's okay. Comes with a clipped corner focusing screen, which is really nice. The clipped corners are very useful for checking to make sure that your lens coverage is going to be suitable for your entire film plane. And as we look at field cameras, I'll show you how to use clipped corner focusing screens. This is the first camera I've had with one, so my first opportunity to really 
discuss them. And on the front we have some lateral wow, quite a bit of lateral movement and swing. Oh, that's a nice system that he designed there. So there's, there's two points of retention here, instead of just one like many cameras have, which means it's going to be more rigid. Oh, that is good engineering. Get these tighten back up, and we can also, here, we can get some, some uh, shift and some rise and fall. And this is as far forward as it goes. This part here is tilts backwards for closing. So this is my Ghibellini Proxima 4x5 3D printer. You can see some of the 3D line printing lines. That's okay by me. If it ever bothers me, I guess I can sand them off, but I probably won't. Very, it, all the engineering here is really good, high quality. The machine, the parts in it, the mil, metal milled parts look really nice. I cannot wait to start shooting this. I'm taking this out to photograph waterfalls next week or the week after, so very exciting. Anyway, here we go, Ghibellini Proxima 4x5, and keep an eye out for future videos focusing on this camera and discussing results from it, doing a standard camera re review and instruction manual and all that fun stuff that we do here. See you guys soon. Now, if I can only figure out how to get this guy folded back up, that would be grand. Is that good? Yep, that's not it. I promise to figure out how to do this the right way at some point before I make the videos about it. That looks pretty good. And now it's time for the reboxing.